client recently who said she didn't feel like celebrating the holidays or decorating or doing anything else this year because it all reminded her of the way it was before. Sometimes the first holiday after a divorce can be worse than the divorce itself. I get that it's hard and I think the simplest things such as sending out holiday cards can bring up all kinds of emotions as you flip through the years past and look at times when the family was together and you're reminded of what woulda, coulda, shoulda been. I remember that first holiday after my own divorce and sending out cards was bad, but you know what was worse? Receiving cards. All of those perfect families in their matching buffalo plaid shirts. It's like a gut punch, right? So now that we've got that out of the way, the question is, what are you gonna do with those feelings? Are you going to let the heaviness of it all weigh you down and drive how you experience this holiday season? Or are you going to change the script? You have the power to do that. So while things might look different this year and while your family might look different and while even your Christmas card might look different, what's not different is your children's love of the holiday or excitement surrounding it. So how about instead of trying to recreate the same exact thing that was before, what if you reset what this time of year means to you? What do I mean? I mean, what if you create new traditions? What if you decorate it in a different way? And I get it, it's not as simple as changing the color lights on the tree and that's going to fix everything, but it's a start. And maybe if you can get excited about creating the holiday experience that you want, you're going to start a new tradition or create a new memory. Then maybe you'll start to enjoy new things and it gets a little less hard. Then next year, maybe you're not looking back to what was, but rather you're looking forward to the new holiday that you started to create for yourself and your children this year. Remember, there isn't a way to quick fix your feelings after you've gone through a divorce. Time and patience and grace is the only way out. So one day it's a little less hard and eventually the hard disappears or it's so small that you now have room for the new and the exciting, maybe happiness and even joy finds a place. But you have to keep moving forward because if you continuously look back, you'll walk into a wall. So what can you do today to move towards your own version of happy even after? Don't forget to stop by my website at MsReneeBauer.com for free resources and for additional video and blog content.